ago. I hope you still remember. Yes, the whole episode started when we wanted to meet at the Garrick. Some laws were now made overnight that if Garrick accommodates us, we are going to close the school. We now had to leave there. We went to our leader's house, Pastor Ezeyamu's house, where we met. And again, some laws were again put together that if we do anything like that, there, some C of O will be removed. They tried everything possible to stop us from moving. But by the grace of God, we moved on that occasion. Something similar to that, something similar to that was to happen here too. We decided that we will be doing this thing, we'll be moving on Friday, that's today. The leader, I'm told, the leader of World One, was told me, he came to my house and told me that they have agreed that Friday will be the date. But as I was driving into Ogwa, I received a telephone call from him that know that one big man in the local government, he called his name, but I don't want to use his name on this occasion. He called his name and said, the man said, the thing should be put away. Should not hold the meeting, should not hold this rally, because he wants to clear from the governor. That is the reason why I said it was similar to something that was found in Benin. But this is a shocker to me, as an old politician, that people want to come and join you to add value to your present situation, and some person will now be saying, no, don't move there. We don't want to receive you. I think it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that I've never heard before in politics. Today, 
in a do state and probably one of the very oldest politicians because I started I had to, to campaign with my daddy and leader Chief Awolowo many years ago some 1977-78 under the platform of what was then called the Committee of Friends that brought about the creation of the Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, and we've now brought Ali to power. I was one of Ali's closest uh, friends and uh, ally, and I'm proud to say that Ali performed very creditably in that great party, the UPN. And there's hardly any party that has come up to that. Is it the SDP? I was one of the closest persons to the governor then, um, Chief Oyegu. I was also one of the closest persons to the governor that came after that, that's uh, Chief Loki Benedio. I also played my role. I was chairman, the founding chairman of the party that brought to Shomole, and uh, so on and so forth. So I've been playing my part, I've been play, paying my dues. So today I'm one of the oldest politicians in the dual state. And I want to say without meaning to, to ascribe any importance or necessary importance to myself, that any party that has before him, or that has before it, persons like Isayam, Persons like Prince Tunio Mwagi, there are a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them in the team that try to come in then when several emergency laws were being made and also in our own Ogwa and Ujagwa area. You want to have these people in your party? I think that party should, be, should consider himself lucky. Because these are experienced people it is not that they know it all, but they know as much as possible that could make any party to win. And that is the reason I am saying that I'm proud to return here, to return home here, to join the APC, to join you to work for our great party.